Good morning, traders. Well, major US indices were lower on Tuesday, extending the downside through the session as debt ceiling and limit negotiations uh, extend further to the edge with little progress made in further talks between the White House and the Republican negotiators. NASDAQ slumped under 60 points, or about one and a quarter percent. Risk off tone and tightening economic conditions are really hitting growth and tech stocks particularly. Um, positive economic releases, they were, they were hardly top tier, some flash PMIs and new home sales. Uh, they're firmly in the background as this debt ceiling uh, impasse goes on and it seems to be the main driver of risk sentiment in the near term anyway until um, some type of deal is done but both sides seem pretty far apart at the moment so uh, keep that in mind with your trading in fx markets the us dollar saw gains on tuesday with the risk off tone in us equities helping the dollar index uh, hit a high of 103.65 which was its resistance level set from uh, last week Yields were lower on the session, pairing some of the strength in the US dollar. Uh, lack of Fed speakers as well. There was no further catalyst in that regard. Japanese yen did manage to buck the trend, uh, saw marginal gains versus the US dollar, with dollar yen trading up to 138.91 early in the session before hitting uh, some resistance there as well. Uh, the yen found support on safe haven flows uh, as the risk tone soured, also helped by US Treasury yields uh, grinding lower through the US afternoon. Aussie uh, dollar and Kiwi dollar saw weakness due to the risk tone. Uh, Aussie dollar testing the 66 support level, the big figure there from highs of 66, 66. Um, key risk sentiment, uh, key risk event on Wednesday is the RBNZ decision where the bank is expected to hike by another 25 basis points, but futures are pricing in a pretty decent chance of a 50 hike. So we should see some volatility in the Kiwi dollar, whichever way they go at that time, 12 p.m. Australian Eastern time. Um, this is gonna be an interesting decision. The market's fully pricing in the 25 basis point hike. It's around a 40% chance on top of them hitting a 50 and surprising the market like they did in their April meeting. Um, their recent budget is seen as quite inflationary with a spending um, announced. So uh, it gives the RBNZ every, every excuse to hike, continue hiking rates and maybe surprise the markets again with a 50. So um, there'll be some volatility in the Kiwi dollar, certainly around that time, whatever they do as markets reprice. Another chart to watch on this is the Aussie Kiwi, which is Firmly in that kind of buy zone, if you're looking at that mean reversion trade, we could see a good opportunity there if we get a, a so-called dovish 25 basis point hike.